Volkswagen Passat major clunk from drive to reverse and reverse to drive uh, all three mounting bolts of the rear diff were sheared off uh, my guess would be impact I, I, I don't I've never seen anything like that in my life but uh, something definitely hit it hard enough that sheared all three bolts I don't even know how that's possible but obviously it happened so uh, the top bolt actually loosened itself and came out whatever was left in the diff so that luckily is out however the bottom two are just seized in there I tried welding on the the extension of the bolt and put you know vice grips on it to get it out it wouldn't budge I tried welding a nut on it to get it out it wouldn't budge it just snaps the weld I tried welding a washer and then a bolt to it and it wouldn't come out snaps the bolt so those things are not coming out um, other than uh, replacing the rear differential this is uh, what I've done uh, obviously the top bolt was replaced with a let me see with a 10.9 grade bolt uh, hard to see there it is that's the guy right there let me turn the light on okay so that one's holding the diff in place the purpose of these two is to prevent the diff from rocking as you go from drive and reverse obviously the direction of the drive shaft changes and that's what's holding it in place so what I did on this side I was able to drill a little bit into the bolt but then the drill deflects into the soft aluminum housing so I was only able to drill maybe like I don't know quarter inch but that gave me enough of a bite to put a bolt through and then I drilled a hole into the bracket and weld another bolt so that that bolt that acts as a guide doesn't back out and doesn't fall out and that should hold it in place right over there uh, and then on this side I've continued welding to the uh, stud to the bolt that broke and it was stuck in there so all that weld is a continuation of that bolt and again the purpose of it is to hold it in place so that the diff doesn't rock back and forth um, and this is as good as it gets like I said other than replacing the rear diff and uh, you're gonna have to replace the drive shaft at that point too because this joint got pretty banged up um, I can't really get to it there uh, so it you know I don't know if it's worth it at this point so I'm gonna take it for a road test and see how it drives I just tried it stationary and uh, it didn't clunk anymore it didn't rock anymore obviously if the welds fail if you know if the third the top bolt shears again it's gonna have to to get a replacement diff and drive shaft um, if you think the car is worth fixing at that point but for now if this holds if this was my car I would have done exactly the same thing and I would continue driving it until it start to clunk again uh, when we get to that point we'll deal with it for now like I said this is as good as it gets so I'm gonna road test it make sure it's safe to drive and ping you in a little bit